Hey, student. How are you? Welcome to our session on graphing slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Number one, let's graph the line y equals 2 thirds x. plus five. This linear equation is in the form y equals mx plus b. Let's identify the slope and the y-intercept. The slope, m, is the number in front of x. Two-thirds is our slope. The y-intercept is b. Our y-intercept is 5. Let's start by graphing the y-intercept, b, 0, 5. Starting at the origin, we'll go up 5. One, Two, three, four, five. There's our y intercept. Then from our y intercept, we will use our slope. Our slope is rise over run. Our slope is two thirds. Rise up two and run to the right three. From your y-intercept, rise up two, run over to the right three. This is the second point on our line. And you could keep going using the slope to get another point. Rise up two and run to the right three. Here is the third point on our line. And we can connect these points. And that is the graph of the line y equals two thirds x plus five. Let's do another example. Let's graph the line y equals 4x minus 1. Let's start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is minus 1. 0 comma negative 1. Let's graph the first point on our line, the y-intercept, negative 1. And using our slope, let's rewrite our slope 4 as a fraction. We can put 4 over 1. Now we have our rise over our run. Starting at the y-intercept, we will go up 4 and to the right 1. This will give us the second point on our line. We can also go the other way. We could go down and left. Negative 4 over negative 1. Two negatives make a positive. Starting at our y-intercept, let's go down 4 and to the left one. This will give us another point on our line. And we can connect these points. 
And there's our line, y equals 4x minus 1. Let's do one more example. Number three, let's graph the line y equals negative two thirds. What is the y-intercept of this equation? y equals negative 2 thirds x. Our y-intercept is 0. So we can start with our y-intercept. We'll graph that point. And our slope is negative two-thirds. Give the negative to the top number, go down, and then to the right three, or you can give the negative to the bottom number. You can go up two and to the left three. Let's start with down two, into the right three. From your y-intercept, down two, and to the right three. This will give us our second point on the line. Or going in the other direction, we could go up two, and to the left, three. Starting at our y-intercept, up two, and to the left, three. This will give us another point on our line. And we'll connect these points. And there is the line y equals negative two thirds x. Thanks so much for joining our session, and I'll see you next time.